get by It resides between my eyes Walked through the fire Came out better on the other side See lights like a beach If you find the sand And right now I'm feeling like a hundred grand You are listening to Inspired Insider With your host, Dr. Jeremy Wise Live from the Sweet and Snack Show Dr. Jeremy Weiss here. We're here live at the Sweet and Snack Show. I am here with Susan. And Susan, tell us about your company. Hi, Jeremy. Uh, The company is Love Good Fats. We are about a year and a half old. We launched in Canada and then quickly rolled out in the U.S. We're a brand of bars and now shakes with only one to two grams of sugar. They happen to be keto friendly and absolutely melt in your mouth delicious. I just tried one. It is delicious. The peanut butter chocolate. Okay. Peanut butter sh- chocolate is, in most stores that we're in, the number one selling bar in Canada, period. Mm. And it's a superstar in the U.S. already. We're listed in all Whole food stores across the U.S. And we're off to a very fast start. So where can people find it? What's the website? Uh, lovegoodfats.com is our website. We're also on Amazon. We're also on about 11 banners, in, including Whole Foods and Vitamin Shop. Uh, Vitamin Shop has all six of our flavors. So how did you think of the idea? I read a book, Nina Teicholz, Big Fat Surprise, that she wrote in 2016 that basically said, we've had 40 years of misinformation. I was on a low-fat diet. I was late mm. 40s and sick, two medications doing yoga daily, running daily, eating low fat, not eating salt, and I was sick. I read her book, I was on the plane to Natural Product Expo. That day, I changed my diet, and then I decided, what can I do? I was turning 50, and I decided to launch a brand that will change how people eat. So what was the first step you took? What were you doing before? I was a VP of marketing for 10 years at two different weight loss companies, Weight Watchers being one and a supplement company, a number two brand in the U.S. of supplements. So I knew consumers really well and I know marketing and I know branding. Um, So the first thing I did deciding to launch a brand is to write the positioning, to write the, the concept, the story of the brand and then the packaging brief and then the product brief. In my kitchen, I was making fat bombs. Tell me about the first product in your kitchen. Yeah, the first fat bomb, I mean, uh, they're easy to find recipes, but it's basically coconut oil, cocoa, and you kind of just mix it up. You don't put any sugar or artificial sweeteners, and you just mix it up, and they're pretty easy to make but they, are, they need to stay in the fridge and you need to eat them in a day. Um, and you can Google fat bomb recipes, there's thousands. But then I'm like, no, no, like we need a portable, convenient fat bomb. And that's the product brief that I wrote. And then I shopped it around. I found um, kitchens that would want to make some that could be commercialized. And that's kind of how it started, that summer of 2016 and then into 17. So you're a glutton for punishment starting a company like that. Yeah, I was turning 50. My daughter was moving out. I'm a single mom. I had 200 different advisors say bars are expensive and it's really, really hard. So it was definitely a big, big risk. But the the bars from the first six weeks at Whole Foods shelves in Canada were number one and two best sellers. So we knew we knew that you know at that moment, uh, September 2017, we knew we had something that was going to take off. Susan, I'm totally impressed, one, by founders, two, by mom founders, because you have a million, that's a yes. two full-time jobs, yes. and a single mom yeah, yeah. founder. So tell me about the balance. Like, I mean, there's no real balance, but how you do that, that work balance, you know, raising a child, because I think that's really important. Yeah. Well, there, there's no secret, and a lot of the se- seasoned executives will say the same thing. And I was an executive for 10 years with uh, with the single mom and the young kids. Yeah. You know, there's no secret. Something's got to give, you know. And, and I haven't seen my kids much in the last two years. They're both helping. My daughter's employed this summer, so I'm going to get to see her for, for six weeks. 
but you know, when you're launching into something, it, it is more than 24-7. Um, I have a partner now, and that's that's great that we're able to kind of divide and, and work together. And But you, you, there's no secret sauce. You know, yeah. something's got to give. Am I running and doing yoga anymore? No. Like, you know, like I used to do Ironman and my, my wow. like, so something's got to give. And it's all a question of priorities and how you find a way to balance. Um, it's been the most energizing two years of my life and I'm surrounded by talent at my board level my advisor level and my now my team it went from a team of one last uh, last May to now I have a team of 17 I'm employing eight summer students I have an amazing board so it you know it's the it's the most taxing but it's the best best part of my my life and my career ever what's your superpower you seem to manage all this stuff I mean, I'm really fueled on fats and I'm fueled on the energy and the success of the brand, knowing that our mission is to change how people eat and having such a successful, I think we're the fastest, most successful Canadians food startup ever. Wow. It's really energizing. You know, you're around people all day long that tell you their, their, their health stories from cutting out sugar, you're around people who want to make a difference, who want to share the word, and we're having wins. You know, yesterday we had a record smashing day. So I'm fueled on on kind of w winning, you know, being in, in great environments. And w this is a gem, you know, it's uh, of all the things I've ever done, I've gone from this this kind of most fear-based two years when you don't know if you'll make it to the most amazing last 12 months. Amen. Everyone, check out Love Good Fats. It's delicious. Thank you so much. Thanks, Jeremy. Pleasure. That's all right. What I got, you can't buy. It resides between my eyes. Walked through the fire, came out better on the other side. Like a beach if you find the sand right now I feel like a hundred grand